All right, what's going on guys? Try back again. We're going to bring you another video. This video is going to be talking about the recent announcement and teaser poster for Marvel's newest zombie comic book series, which is being written by George A. Romero. All right, so yep, it is true, or at least as far as it's being reported from Twitch and uh, what uh, George A. Romero has been saying, uh, he is writing a zombie comic book series for Marvel. Now, how long will the comic book series be? You know, how many issues will it span? How long will he be writing it for? None of those details have been announced. Also, we know it's not going to be another Marvel zombie, so we're not going to see, you know, uh, a zombie... Incredible Hulk or Zombie Captain America or any of these types of characters, Zombie Magneto or anything like that. It's not going to have any superheroes in it at all. It's just going to be a zombie comic book series uh, coming to a Marvel. And uh, it could just be a mini series, so we'll have to see. Hopefully it's not, though, because I'd really like to see uh, George A. Romero's take on what a zombie comic book could be, since the only real successful zombie comic book that's ever been released is... The Walking Dead. Well, Marvel Zombies was fairly successful too, but I don't think of that as purely just a zombie comic book. I mean, it kind of is, but you've got the superheroes mixed in too, so it's kind of something different on its own. But I just mean zombie comic book series uh, that you just have like regular zombie apocalypse with nobody has having any superpowers or anything of that kind of sort and just people surviving in a zombie apocalypse. Um, now, right off the bat, I'll say the logo, which I showed at the beginning of the video, uh, released from Marvel, looks like, just like The Walking Dead. Uh, seriously, like, like, even the font is somewhat similar to The Walking Dead. Uh, the blood splatter on it uh, even reminds me of The Walking Dead. It's really weird to see, uh, just, in general, it's weird, because it just seems like it's kind of like a ripoff of The Walking Dead for Marvel. But, I mean, I think really it's just like, sort of, Romero saw how successful The Walking Dead was as a comic book and a TV series and decided he wants to try something like it. Um, now, if you guys don't know who George A. Romero is, he's basically the godfather of zombie apocalypse stories. He was the one who originally created the Night of the Living Dead. He's done Day of the Dead, um, Dawn of the Dead, um, I mean lots, uh, Land of the Dead. There, he's made a, a lot of zombie movies. And Survival of the Dead, too, I think? I think so. I think, yeah, I think it's a total of five, pretty sure, zombie movies. He also did some others like The Crazies and some other movies like that as well. Um, but he is, if you had to give one person, you know, the um, sort of the title of like the creator of what we think of zombies to be at, at this point in time, George A. Romero would get that. Um, Robert Kirkman's done an amazing job of The Walking Dead, but still, he based The Walking Dead off of what Romero originally had created. Now the difference was Kirkman decided he was going to do an ongoing uh, zombie series and not have it end just after one movie or three hours or two hours or something like that. He wanted to see what would happen if he had a, a zombie comic series that would go on for a long time. You know, like what we've seen, a uh, hundred episodes of this type of stuff or issues. And um, hopefully hundreds of episodes of the television series. We'll see how, how far that gets. But you know what I'm saying, a long, long-term um, story and what we find is that it, it it is really interesting you know what happens to characters a year after a zombie apocalypse if they survive survive initially how long can they survive for you know uh, which ones will still be around seeing them getting killed off and all these kinds of things uh, make it really 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 exciting and i think at this point even all the romero films too even though some of them are really really good uh and were what sort of gave birth to this genre uh, I still think The Walking Dead has surpassed everything that Romero did and really um, just kind of cracked the code and figured out how to do this best, you know, took what Romero had done and made it even better. So hopefully Romero can maybe take some inspiration from The Walking Dead and that and create his own series, uh, comic book series, and maybe that'll get turned into a TV show someday or something like that uh, that'll be ongoing. But um, again, there's not too many details out right now. All Romero basically said is it won't involve any of Marvel's ongoing characters. Uh, there will be no superheroes, but it will involve zombies. So that's basically it. So hopefully it'll be a long, ongoing series. I know Romero's old at this point. God, he's got to be in his, what, 60s or 70s now? He's got to be at least in his uh, 60s. Close to 70s, I would say. So who knows how long he's going to want to write this for or if this is just going to be a real quick fix type 
thing and have like like a four part mini series or something that would suck i want to see at least 20 issues at least for it to be anything even noteworthy or anything like it um so in terms of potential i think it has the potential to be great if romero puts the effort into it like he did his movies if he um, sticks with it and makes it an ongoing series instead of just like a, a quick like four issue, something like that. Uh, it is supposed to hit this fall, 2013, so we'll see how it all turns out. And uh, if it is good and it's going to be an ongoing series, I'll do another video later on let you guys know. And I'll also be reviewing each issue as it comes out because um, aside from Robert Kirkman, the other person I think of when I think of zombies is going to be George A. Romero. Uh, maybe Frank Darabont, but yeah, George A. Romero is... He's the godfather of zombies, all there is to it. So if anybody can do it aside from Robert Kirkman, it's him for sure. So it has all the recipe for uh, success, I think, and I think it'll be really good. Anyway, that's pretty much all my thoughts on Marvel of the Dead. Um, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trev. Same piece.